Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see something about the formation of the different exhaust emissions. The very first one that we have over here is, or before that, we will see, as is shown, shown in this image over here, what are the different emissions when we consider gasoline engines and diesel engines. As far as petrol or gasoline engines are concerned, the chief constituents over here are carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbons. Whereas when diesel engines are concerned, the chief elements are carbon oxides of nitrogen, soot particles, hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. Now let us see how they are formed or what is their nature over here. The first one is the carbon monoxide. It is very unstable and it easily combines with oxygen. Thereby it is considered to be a poisonous gas which will eventually result in the reduction in oxygen carrying capacity of the blood in human beings. This is formed because of incomplete combustion in a fuel. The primary cause of this can be rich air fuel mixture. Then we have oxides of sulfur. Basically sulfur dioxide or different oxides of sulfur are formed when traces or certain amounts of sulfur are present in the hydrocarbon fuel. When it is subjected to oxidation that is when it is combusted then this sulfur which is present in the fuel it will combine with oxygen and it will result in the formation of oxides of sulfur. Also it will combine with moisture which is present in the exhaust gas. This results in the formation of sulfuric acid and at lower than dew point it will make severe corrosions in the tailpipe as we can see in the image attached here with also this results in the formation of acid air in the atmosphere then we have hydrocarbons hydrocarbons are nothing but basically the elements in the fuel which remain unburnt and they are given out as it is in the exhaust emissions from the tailpipe also when we go to the fueling station or petrol pumps and we refuel our two wheelers especially motorcycles or bikes wherein the fuel tank is in front of the driver we will see that as the refueling is going on certain fumes are being emitted out from the fuel tank cap this is more predominantly visible in the summer seasons these are nothing but fumes of hydrocarbons they are also given out because of leakages from the engine and the fuel delivery system they are given out because of volatile organic compounds the nature of hydrocarbons which is present in the fuel is of basically two types higher ends and lower ends by higher and lower ends we mean that the temperature at which ignition of these elements will take place. For higher ends it will be on the higher side, for lower ends it will be on the lower side. As you can see in the image, along with liquid fuel, vapors of the fuel are also present. These vapors, they are nothing but unburnt hydrocarbons element of the fuel. These hydrocarbons they contribute to the formation of photochemical smog along with ozone and oxides of nitrogen. Then we have oxides of nitrogen. Oxides of nitrogen are formed because we cannot simply supply oxygen for the combustion of fuel. We need to supply air as a whole and from air oxygen will be used for the combustion. But along with oxygen, major chunk of air it consists of nitrogen. So this nitrogen also at higher temperatures will combine with oxygen resulting in the formation of oxides. This oxides of nitrogen also contribute to the formation of smog. This will happen when hydrocarbons at higher temperature they will combine with the oxides of nitrogen. The temperature range that you can see over here for the formation of oxides is around 1200 degrees Celsius and above then we have particulate matter particulate matter simply means very 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 fine particles that are given out in the exhaust emissions as we can see over here all exhaust components that are deposited on a defined filter 
after having been diluted with air to a temperature below 52 degrees Celsius. These include fines, dust, soot particles, mist, fog and smog. As you can see over here, three main health issues are caused because of the particulate matter. Depending on their size, they affect the bronchial tree in the lungs, the pulmonary region and also the upper respiratory tracts. So all in all these particulate matters, they are very harmful if we consider people having ailments of breathing that is people suffering from wheezing, people suffering from asthma, people suffering from breathlessness or short breath. These particulate matters are very very harmful for such people. Then we have ozone. Formation of ozone it takes place through the photolysis of oxides of nitrogen as is shown by this chemical equation. This ozone it is an irritant to the respiratory system. Okay. Thank you very much.